everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah, this is Rich and Sarah, learning as we grow. And today I'm gonna to show you all about classical conversations, cycle three, week number one science experiment. So let's get started. Baby, we're children of summer, we're meant to be free. Hearted, we're not like the others, no reason to be. start off by giving you guys a little bit of background information about myself. I am the director of the Pasadena, California homeschool group that is the classical conversations group. And so um, this is actually directed to the tutors in my homeschool group, but I hope you can find it beneficial as well. So let's jump right into what our materials are and what we will need to do to complete this project. This classical conversation cycle three um, week one experiment is called blinking it is, and here are the supplies we will need. Tutors at my community, you will have all of the following supplies. You will have um, your scissors, you will have paper pre-cut, you will have a ruler. I'm actually just using this as a ruler today. You will have a marker, a pencil, and some scotch tape. So let's jump in. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your first um, sheet of paper that has already been cut and you're going to want to tape it to the table. So make sure that it is taped down nice and secure at the top as well as the bottom. And there you have it. All right, once that is all taped on and ready to go, you will have your students um, use a pencil um, to draw a face. They're gonna wanna draw a face that has one eye open and one eye closed. They could also use the marker if they would prefer. So let's, let's use the marker. It actually would be a little bit darker, I think. So let me show you kind of how that's done. So any sort of a face, all right, we've got my face drawn and we're going to have one eye stay open and one eye closed. So I'm kind of gonna shut this eye and then this eye I'm gonna leave open and we'll draw a nose. And you have some real artists in our, in our CC group. So <laughs> this is kind of the best I can do but I know you'll have some great, um, some great artists at the time. Okay, so you have your paper taped down, you have your smiley face with one eye open and one eye closed, and now you're ready to do the next step. All right, so now that you have your face drawn on the, the paper that's taped to the table, you're gonna wanna take your other sheet of paper and, and you're going to want to put it and place it onto the table right directly over the face that you just drew. And you're going to wanna take your pencil now and you're going to want to trace this face, okay? Except this time, you're gonna leave both eyes open. So, I don't know if I can film this and trace at the same time. Let me start to trace, and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so there you have it. There is my traced face with the eyes open, and underneath you have my face that has one eye open, one eye closed. So, I'm going to take the traced piece of paper, and I'm going to take it and tape it onto my table, all right? Just so it is secure and even. There we go. Okay. Looks good. All right, now you're going to use your pencil. So let's see how that works. Okay, so here's a part where you will need a ruler or whatever you have that's a straight edge. Um, I'm gonna do it about an inch up from the bottom of the page and you're gonna wanna just draw a real fine line across here. It doesn't have to be super dark, just enough that you can see it. All right, so I've got my pencil up to the line. I've got it taped very nicely right there. Excuse my manicure. And you're going to take the pencil and you're going to flip it as fast as you can and it should make it look like the little man is blinking. So let me set up the camera so that you guys have a better view of this. Okay, very still. Oh assisting me as a cameraman hold it just like that okay and then I am going to come over and I'm going to move it as fast as I can ready and you're gonna see if it looks like your man is blinking does it kind of look like he's blinking 
All right, <laughs> I hope that's picking up on camera. Okay, so a quick note about that. I feel like the pencil does show it, but it doesn't show it as well if I were just to get my hand and move my hand across. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with just my hand and the tape going across really, really, really fast, okay? All right, ready guys? This is just my hand and the tape, ready? Does it look like he's blinking? <laughs> I think it totally does. So this will be a really fun experiment. I've got all the little kids here watching me, all my kiddos. So this will be a really fun experiment for you to try. Woo, that's a workout, guys. <laughs> this, that is a workout. My hand is like exhausted right now. That will be a good um, experiment for you to try with the little kids, with the older kids. Everybody loves it. I just loved it right now. Um, and I'm 37 and it was amazing. <laughs> So you guys are going to do that with your class. Um, there's different ways you can do that. If your kids, the, the most simple form of this, I think, is to go ahead and just let them draw out their own figure and their own person and their own face. However, I do realize you have little ones that will want it perfect or that will take forever to do it in time. So it's kind of up to you as the tutor. If you want to print out, pre-print out faces that they just, you know, throw on here, that's fine too. And then you can just have them trace the face or you can let them totally go from scratch and just paper, whatever you like um, will work out just fine. So let's talk about the why of the blinking and the scientific method part of this. All right, guys, so there are a couple other talking points that you can expand on this experiment with. You can have the children kind of have a hypothesis guess um, either before they start the project or after. You can say, what happens if we move our hand very slowly when we do this? Or if we move our hand and the pencil very fast when we do this? Does that change or affect the way that the little man or the little woman, um, the way that their eyes blink or open or shut fast or slow? So you really kind of want to get them thinking about the why of it, okay? And then once you've done that, you can get into more of the science of the experiment. What is really fun about this experiment and actually this entire first half of the year of CC in science experiments is it is all dealing with the human body and anatomy of the human body. And so this week we'll have a lot to do with um, the week number four coming up, which is going to be all about your brain and your nervous system, which also will, will kind of lead into week number five science, which has to do with your sight. So this experiment has a lot to do with the way that your brain um, utilizes what you're seeing with your sight and your nerves in your brain and how it connects and what it actually, the illusion that it makes your brain think of what is happening with the blinking of the eye. This is actually an optical illusion, which means that once your brain has stopped looking at the image or your vision has stopped, your eyes have stopped looking at the image, your brain still holds on to the vision in your mind. Your brain persists and still wants to focus on that image. Even if you close your eyes, you can almost still see that image and that is called persistence of vision. So what is happening when I look at this paper is first your eyes see the picture as light reflects off of the paper and then the information is sent from your eyes to your brain through your nervous system. Your nervous system responds to changes or stimulus in your environment that need a response. So nerve cells or neurons transmit messages to our spinal cord and our brain and neurons form long chains and pass messages along from one to the other. So that's pretty awesome that this is what's going on when you see this. So that is it, you guys, for this week's Classical Conversation, the Cycle 3 Week 1 Science Experiment. Feel free to kind of expand on it as much as you want. Um, let the kids try it in different places. Let them try to tape their face onto a table. Maybe they want to go tape it onto a wall nearby or they want to tape it onto the ground. All sorts of different things. Enjoy your time together. Enjoy this first week of CC Science Experiment. And I will see you back here next week with our science experiment for CC Cycle 3 Week 2. Have a good one. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.